It seems motorcycle riders new and old want to get back to the basics. 15, 18, or even $20,000 bikes with tons of electrical gadgets and hundreds of horsepower aren't what's in. Today's rider is interested in a bike that is easy to approach and easy on their wallet. Royal Enfield is a motorcycle company that many Americans are likely not familiar with. The company can trace its roots back to Britain where their first bike was produced in 1901. Royal Enfields held duty in both World War I and World War II, but fast forward to 2022 and Royal Enfield is only gaining steam with its headquarters in India. With production of Royal Enfields dating back to 1901, it's the oldest motorcycle brand that's been in continuous production. So in today's video, we're going to take one of their newest additions, the Meteor 350 for a ride, and see what this OG company has to offer. Before we begin, we'd like to thank Motorcycles for Charlotte in Charlotte, North Carolina for letting us spend some time with this Meteor 350. Motorcycles of Charlotte has a great selection of new and used motorcycles and is home to premium brands such as BMW, Ducati, and Triumph. So if you're in the market for a new motorcycle, be sure to check out the folks at Motorcycles of Charlotte. Royal Enfield says the new Meteor 350 adds another chapter to their legacy of producing cruisers loved by their riders. The Meteor name goes back to the 1950s, but this new Meteor 350 comes at a perfect time when riders are demanding inexpensive, accessible bikes. The Meteor 350 can be had in seven different colors, designated as Fireball, Stellar, and Supernova. Fireball editions are sportier looking with colored wheel linings and blacked out trim like the one here. The Stellar gets chrome accented components and a pillion backrest. The Supernova is considered to be the top of the line and adds to the Stellar's trim with machined wheels and an optional seat and windscreen. The one we have here is a 2022 Royal Enfield Meteor Stellar Red. Looking at the Royal Enfield Meteor 350, the fit and finish is decent and the materials used are mostly respectable at this price range. Up front is a classic round headlight with a halogen bulb, but take a closer look and you'll notice an LED daytime running light along the outside edge. The rear center brake light is also LED. The overall design is certainly cruiser retro with handsome curves on the gas tank and fenders. The seat is flat with plenty of cushioning, and the backrest is a nice touch that your passengers will certainly appreciate. The large 19-inch wheel up front contrasts well with the smaller 17-inch wheel in the rear, accenting the Meteor's attempt at cruiser proportions. The front wheel is wrapped in a 190 tire, and the rear gets 140-70 rubber. I like the wheel design as I think it adds a bit of modern sport to the bike's overall look, but a set of spoked wheels would certainly fit the Meteor well. Braking is handled by a single 300mm disc and two piston caliper up front, and a 270mm disc and single piston caliper in the rear with ABS at each wheel. For a single cylinder bike, the Meteor 350 is somewhat chunky at 421 pounds. Thankfully, the mass feels well centered. The weight is supported by a 41mm standard fork up front with 130mm of travel and dual shock absorbers in the rear with adjustable preload. The handlebar controls are very intuitive with lighting controls, the horn, and a button to toggle through the trip menu on the left. And on the right are ignition controls. The gauges are easy to read and Royal Enfield has done a great job of keeping a classic look while adding some modern touches. The speedometer includes a digital screen with useful information such as gear position and fuel amount, but the most impressive bit is a small digital gauge with tripper navigation. Powered by Google Maps, it provides turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Both screens are crystal clear, and the navigation is easy to set up using Royal Enfield's smartphone app. It's an impressive feature at this price range. Using the key, you can also remove the side panel to access the battery, 
a charge adapter is available for your accessories. Throwing a leg over the Meteor and getting both feet flat on the ground is fairly easy with a seat height of 30.12 inches. The riding position is very laid back with the handlebars easy to reach and the foot pegs push forward. The Meteor has a hill shifter for extra lazy gear changes. Hill shifters allow you to press back on the shifter with your heel for upshifts and press forward with your toe for downshifts. The Meteor also comes equipped with a center stand. The Meteor 350 is powered by a 349cc single-cylinder engine. The engine produces 20.2 horsepower and 19.9 pound-feet of torque. Power flows through a 5-speed transmission. The Meteor 350 is an extremely easy bike to ride. It did take me some time to get used to the hill shifter in order to produce the smoothest shifts, but otherwise everything about this bike caters to new riders or those looking to relax and take it easy. I found the power was adequate to get up to speed, however if you're the type that likes the thrill of extreme acceleration, it's not surprising with only 20 horsepower the Meteor isn't very quick as I will demonstrate here, but first let's wait for this Mustang driver to finish doing what it is that Mustang drivers do. Now that that's finished, back to the Meteor. It does well to get up to 60 miles per hour, but anything over that and the engine gets a bit grumpy. Also, it lacks a rev gauge, so it's difficult to gauge when you should shift during flat out acceleration. The brakes are also adequate with good stopping power under most conditions, but the fill is a bit mushy during hard stops. But performance isn't the Meteor's goal. It's well suited for taking a day trip to see some friends or popping across town for an afternoon movie. Sometimes I am nervous about taking bikes with basic suspensions over potholes, but when they weren't avoidable, the Meteor did surprisingly well, soaking up the bumps without much fuzz. I found the cornering ability of the Meteor to be admirable, especially slow speed corners. It also didn't mind leaning a bit in longer sweeping turns. With very few bikes offered in this price range with cruising sensibilities, there isn't much competition. Only the Honda Rebel 300 and the Yamaha V-Star 250 stand out as direct competitors for less than $5,000. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised by the Meteor 350. Its ease of use and low end grunt stood out. My biggest gripes are the lack of a rev gauge, at least a shift light would have been nice. I think this bike can also handle a sixth gear, and on the long-term ownership side, oil change intervals are every 3,000 miles or 6 months, which isn't bad until you realize valve adjustments are also required during the same interval. Royal Enfield does offer a 3-year warranty on new bikes. For anyone considering a motorcycle for under $5,000, I think they will be pleasantly surprised with what the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 brings to the table. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. You can also find us on Instagram at RideXDrive.